Yuma, what the fuck is up, you guys? How are you? Yeah, Lloyd, 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 yes. My name is Manny Gonzalez. Um, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm Mexican. If you guys can tell, I grew up in a Mexican household. And my grandma always had these sayings that oddly kind of made sense, right? The first one is uh, the cure to depression and anxiety is cutting the grass. Yeah? <laughs> so if you see anybody cutting the grass, give me a hug. I need it. <laughs> it's been rough here. Um, number two is that girls nowadays have different baby daddies on purpose. Not sure if you guys know that. So, that before, so their kids don't fight for the same dad. Because they each have their own. Right? <laughs> it's cute, right? Very thoughtful. Uh, <laughs> um, the next one is, I, I'm not allowed to have a girlfriend until I learn how to wipe my own ass. Right? That one didn't make sense to me at first until I ate ass and I was like, you should. <laughs> He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You should not have a boyfriend. <laughs> My grandma would not approve of you guys. So I don't know if you guys could see the privilege in me. I did go to a private Catholic school, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Your white sea. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, but going there, I did have a lot of opportunities, right? Like I had the opportunity to finally call somebody father. <laughs> like people have to like wait till they say the first words. I have to wait till high school to do it. So it was a great opportunity. Um, also learned how to properly get on my knees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, like, when I got on my knees, it was to pray. Um, <laughs> but when the parents got on their knees, their son started for the football team, you guys. <laughs> so just you know, prayer works. It really does. It does, you guys. Um, <laughs> I also had the opportunity to see a nun be unintentionally racist, right? This was by the time, uh, President, just to set the scene, this is when President Obama got elected, right? So we had this science teacher. What she did, she went to every black kid at the school, all five of them, um, <laughs> and shook their hand. Um, she also shook my friend Juan's hand, too. Um, he was slightly overcooked, so it kind of made sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he was Mexican, but you all knew he was Salvadorian. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, she went to every you know kid, she shook their hand, and said, like, hey, just so you know, this is the prize moment for your people. Yeah. <laughs> um, as you guys can tell, Juan was fucking confused. <laughs> he didn't know what was going on. Mainly because he didn't know English, so that kind of <laughs> So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, they had uh, to call like an entire assembly to, re to address this because all the white kids got offended. <laughs> um, you know, what they did is, you know, usually what, you know, Catholic schools do, they try to, you know, cover things up. So they didn't do this one that well. <laughs> Uh, so, they brought everybody in, they kind of addressed like what the sister actually meant, right? It was not the proudest moment of Juan's life. Um, <laughs> they found out he's Mexican. <laughs> um, he was ready for uh, Christmas, you guys, right? We're all ready for Christmas, it's like, what, a week and a half, right? He's ready for Hanukkah. <laughs> Uh, but who participates in Elf in the Shelf? Yeah. Really? You guys don't participate in Elf in the Shelf? Uh, nobody. Nobody at all. One person right here, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I could, you know, get you to understand this. I feel like Elf in the Shelf is just an excuse for parents to bully their kids. 
You know, you had a bad day at work? You know, fuck you, all over when I get home, dude. You're gonna fucking get it. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, who ate the last chicken nuggets? Elf on the shelf, right? Right? Uh, who broke the TV? Elf on the shelf. Who's getting a divorce? Your father. <laughs> you know who it was? Elf on the fucking shelf, you guys. He <laughs> told. <laughs> So dumb, you guys. No, but like, uh, if you guys don't understand what Alpha Shelf is, it's pretty much like a doll, right? That it's a parent's job to to uh, move it every night, right? Because there's, you know, tell Santa whether you've been naughty or nice. Um, and then the other thing is, there's rules to it, right? Like, the doll gives it magic after you name it, right? And then the kids are not allowed to touch it, or else it loses its magic. Right? Does that make sense? You guys are getting it. Which is ironic, because that's usually what I tell single moms about my dick. <laughs> so like, it gets its magic once you name it. And also, your kids are not allowed to touch it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's, I said that, you guys. <laughs> You know, I've been here for like about a couple minutes. You guys have not complimented my fucking haircut, you guys. I got a fade just for you guys, and you guys didn't even compliment it. Is it nice? No, you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah. Four out of ten. Fuck, dude. Huh? It's a flannel. I don't know if you guys know this, but you call me flannel daddy. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me daddy for short. Uh, <laughs> But we all do like, you know, silly things to impress girls, right? Like I got a haircut, you know? Um, usually people in this town like to bite boats, right? Yeah, I guess guys really like to brag about their boats and how, how big it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a human thing, I guess. Um, but, um, you know, girls love boats, right? You know, girls love it so much that they swallow more kids in the Colorado River for one boat ride. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I'm getting older, right? And I'm starting to kind of figure out girls, right? Like, when a girl tells me she wants to like spice up the bedroom, I have to like sprinkle a bit of pumpkin spice on my dick. <laughs> Instead of uh, cream pies, like you call them pumpkin pies. <laughs> you guys get through it. You guys get it. <laughs> but for my Latinas, I do like to do something different, you guys. Something a little different. I like to sprinkle that bean on my dick. Yeah. And yeah, instead of put the shots, I like to put the cum shots. Nothing? All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was clever. Um, the other thing is, like, when I feel spark with somebody, right? I'll end it with this. When I feel a spark with a girl, I can let them know that I know how to wipe my own ass. Um, and she's allowed to name it, because that's when that's when the magic happens, you guys. <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you, thank you.